I just wanted to make this quick video because last week I was trying to install an older version of Docker desktop, but I realized that they're not available on the Docker page. As you can see, there is the release notes and there are some previous versions here, but they're not available for download. So if you're on Mac, you can use Homebrew to install an older version of Docker. And I have this page open to install the Docker cask. And you shouldn't do brew install Docker because Docker is a system level package and you want to do brew install cask Docker. But this command itself will install the latest version of Docker. So in order to install the older version, you want to go into this cask code on GitHub and click on the history of commits and look for the version you're looking to install. In my case, I'm looking to install 3.4.0 because I'm interested in Docker Compose version one and Docker Desktop 3.4.0 is the latest version that has the Docker Compose 1.29.2. So just look for that version here. I might have to go into the next page scroll down and you'll see this commit saying update docker from 3.3.3 to 3.4.0 so i'm going to view code at this point right click this raw and copy the link address so i'm going to open my terminal and all you have to do is brew install cask and paste that link there in my case, that says that's already downloaded because I have already attempted that earlier. And for some of these versions, you might encounter this SHA-256 mismatch error. In that case, all you have to do is just copy this link right here and paste that in your browser. I'm not going to press enter now because I already have that installed. But once you press enter, of course, you're going to see your docker.dmg file in your downloads directory. And one thing I just wanted to add before I finish this video is if you try to open your Docker application and you come across this error saying the Docker settings version is too high for the application, all you have to do is open the terminal and remove this group.com.docker file from library group containers group.com.docker. And once you remove that, um, you shouldn't see that error anymore. I'm not 100% sure why that error is coming up, but that's all I needed to do for that case. And that's all I have for this video. Thank you all for watching.